Assalamu alaikum, Zainab as the mother of tragedies. Whilst in the English language to describe someone as the mother of calamities and tragedies, we denote that such a person is themselves a tragedy or a walking disaster. This is not the intent of the Arabic expression, which merely entails that she witnessed a set of calamities which have never before been exposed to any person or have never before been witnessed by a single individual. The following list of credentials will enforce the right that Zainab has to such a title. Um al-Masaib. She witnessed the martyrdom of the Messenger of Allah and its aftermath. She witnessed how her people abandoned the funeral of the Messenger of Allah. She witnessed the attack on her mother's house and how her father, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, was forced to come out and was insulted and physically belittled in front of the Muslims. She witnessed how the so-called Ummah abandoned her father, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, after pledging allegiance to him. She witnessed her mother being hit, struck, slapped by non-mahram men who intended to commit genocide on the Prophet's family and killed her unborn brother. Mohsin, the son of Ali, who died in a miscarriage, in addition to the breaking of her mother's rib. She witnessed how her mother was accused of lying when she demanded her inheritance and rights from the Messenger of Allah. She witnessed how her mother was slapped whilst giving her famous speech of Fadak. She witnessed how her mother was asked to stop grieving for the Messenger of Allah and how she was forced to relocate to the House of Sorrows in order to not disturb the people. She witnessed her mother's secret burial after her martyrdom. She witnessed also how the Muslims attempted to humiliate her father in the six-person vote by threatening to kill anyone who dissented from the other voters. She witnessed how Aisha, Talha and Al-Zubair accused Imam Ali, peace be upon him, of things they themselves committed and how they went to war with him and killed tens of thousands of Muslims. She witnessed how Muawiyah bought half of the Ummah and used them against her father, who they had voted as the legitimate caliph. She witnessed the Khawarij accuse her father of apostasy, apostasy and fight against him. She witnessed the martyrdom of her father Ali, the poisoning of her brother Hassan. She witnessed Aisha attempt to suppress the rights of Al-Muhammad through her attacks on Imam Hassan's funeral, prayer in which she fired arrows into the coffin. She saw al hur ibn Yazid force Imam al Hussein to stop and reside in a desolate, desolate place. She saw the Imam's few companions in comparison with the great numbers of the enemy's army. She saw most of the Imam's so-called partisans abandon him and join his enemies. She saw the woman's fear and worry when they had to reside in Karbala. She saw the enemies deprive her people and her of water. She had to take care of the children and women while they were carrying, while they were crying out of thirst. She had to witness her brother's feelings of disappointment and loneliness. She had to witness the martyrdom of her two sons, as well as the other relatives and companions whom were martyred one by one. The martyrdom of Al-Abbas, however, was the most disastrous for her. She saw how Imam Al-Hussein, peace be upon him, was without any supporter or helper, 
while he was seeking help. She saw the cut off head of Al Hussein lie on spearhead. She saw the enemies attach her brother's caravan and women trying to set fire on the tents. She had to gather the scattered children and women who fled everywhere in that desert. She had to pass by the dead, severed body of her brother. She had to ride on saddless lean camels and to help the children and women to ride on such animals. She had to exert all efforts for taking care of her ill nephew and consoling him. She had to go through the scenes of being captives and driven from a town to another while people were looking at them as rebels. It is narrated that the Holy Prophets once said to weep for the misfortunes of Zainab is as same as to weep for her brothers Al Hassan and Al Hussein, peace be upon them. Thank <laughs> you.